Hello, hello my darlings and welcome back to my channel and to another video. So if you haven't seen part one of my wedding special, it's right here. And now we can move on to the other part, which is the luxe, bougie, expensive version of the wedding sense. No matter if you're the bride, the bridesmaid, the guest, they are all gonna be perfect and these are all for my bougie fragrances lovers so let's go and before please do not forget to subscribe follow me on instagram hit the bell all that shebang i would be very very grateful and yeah let's just jump into it uh, we have a lot to go through so i don't want to ramble and uh, i think i'm gonna start with a few that i highly highly recommend especially if you love something a little bit more unique just amazing okay and the first one is creme imperial from navitus parfum if you don't know already i have an active discount code for all navitus fragrances and it's in the description below you just click the link fill up your basket and you're good to go just don't forget to insert my code at the checkout and creme imperial is actually my newest discovery i do not have the full bottle yet uh, but that has to change so as you can see this juice is exquisite by the way my sample comes from this massive gorgeous sample set uh, which have all navitus fragrances um, scents the whole collection and you can get them on a massive discount at the moment so check it out as well to try the whole collection but creme imperial i heard few people talking about it and i never really was like into it but oh now that i smell it guys incredible this this one is incredible okay so it is very creamy as the name suggests it's so luxe like so luxe guys to me this is a unisex fragrance that leans slightly feminine it is a little bit um that powdery lipsticky aspect but very very subdued and that of course comes from the iris but mainly this is a woody fragrance with quite a heavy dose of white florals and plum you've got jasmine here you've got some lemon so it has a nice zest at the beginning so it's very appropriate for spring and summer the plum you have cinnamon geranium rose you've got benzoin woods and another heavy dose of jasmine in the dry down to me this is absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful i would categorize it as woody powdery white floral with slight fruity touches so unique guys i'm almost out of the words and the juice like mine macerated already for quite a few weeks and it got very nice and honey colored beautiful fragrance nevertheless very long lasting it performs beautifully it's gonna last you all day if you're the bride you're gonna be so so happy with it because i can assure you nobody's gonna smell like you you're gonna be very sophisticated and just so bougie so bougie i am definitely getting a full bottle this is how much i adore this fragrance oh it has also a slight boost to it mm. 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 amazing just amazing creme imperial is to die for i think out of the whole collection of navitus this is the perfect wedding scent unless you really like rose then go for idola which is very feminine rosy fragrance uh, but if you want something super special creme imperial creme imperial is just incredible so yes that's my first choice the second one is from Theo Cabanel and it is called Très French and this is a beautiful clean fragrance and as the name suggests it's very French um, it is a little bit powdery a little bit it has that hint of tropical florals as well which I really really like it has some solar notes it has pear 
it has peony, it has some lily of the valley, which to me, as I said in my last video, is very much of a wedding floral for some reason. It also has jasmine, musk, sandalwood, benzoin and vetiver and I adore this. I just adore this. It's so, so beautiful. It's perfect for wedding gatherings for such occasions it's gonna be so so good again very unique one it's very unlikely that someone will smell like you when you wear this the longevity of all Theo Cabanel fragrances is just exquisite I really love them for that and yeah it's perfect because you know it's a gorgeous mixture of those very sophisticated almost old school florals like lily of the valley which has been very popular back in the day in fragrances but you have so many nice modern twists to it like uh, solar notes and pear oh just amazing just just amazing i love this one highly recommend you don't have to worry about the longevity with projection it's all gonna be there all day all night so yes if you want something quite fresh but also very, very unique, très French, amazing, amazing. So that's that. Now, I have uh, one that you might think it's nothing special, but I actually absolutely adore it. And even though the brand is very popular at the moment, it's not very talked about this one. And that is from BDK and that is Bouquet de Henri. And to me, this is the most beautiful melange of florals very very beautiful feminine white florals and strawberry guys who doesn't like strawberry mm. it's fruity it's musky it's just perfect it screams bride it's so lovely it's gonna just envelop you in the most feminine romantic veil yes veil <laughs> absolutely gorgeous this one i think you do have to over spray a little bit more i'm not saying it's not long lasting because on me it does with the projection though since it might be your wedding or you just want to be smelled heavily i think spray a little bit more okay spray like me <laughs> this is gorgeous gorgeous if you want something not too unique maybe but at the same time absolutely timeless uh, slightly fruity fresh floral musky just this beautiful beautiful feminine rounded fragrance bouquet de Henri. absolutely gorgeous and i think this is the 20th time that i said absolutely but you get what i'm saying so we can move on now the next one I want to talk about is super special. Not only the bottle is gorgeous, the scent is absolutely gorgeous for the wedding. Like it screams bright again. Uh, I finished my sample already, so I don't have it with me, but the scent captivated me as soon as I smelt it for the first time. And that is from Le Parfum de Rosine and this is called Ballerina 01. So number one in pink bottle. And this is the most gorgeous, sweet, fruity, lactonic fragrance. To me, it's a little bit powdery. It has some freesia, so it gives you that clean soapy vibe as well. It has some peach and pear. It has some rose and raspberry and violet. And then in the dry down, you have musk, milk, vanilla and sandalwood. So it finishes off with that beautiful creamy milkiness and vanilla, just imagine that. And you have this raspberry, which gives you slight souriness, sweet peach, Mm, just to die for just to die for this is a sweet fruity fragrance but it is on the cleaner side and then it gets milky as it dries down to me very long lasting very nice projection compliment getter for sure the bottle is just amazing like i love the bottle especially from this particular number which is number one absolutely gorgeous so yes if you want something unique quite clean but still fruity with lactonic touches ballerina number one is the best the best and i think other than that 
I have all the bottles in full with me. So let me go ahead and give you another recommendation. This one is another perfect one with very heavy projection and lasting power. And this is Montal Rose Elixir. Guys, this one is just to die for. If you remember Miss Dior Cherie from back in the day, this smells like it. This one also has strawberry, but this one is way more fruity than Bouquet de Henri. Uh, with BDK, that strawberry is still definitely there, but a little bit more natural and subdued. With this one, you have a heavy dose of it, all right? It is just gorgeous, that rose with strawberry and definitely that Miss Dior Cherie vibe here, but just put to the fullest, like this is the powerhouse, all right? Beautiful feminine fragrance, amazeballs, just amazeballs. Um, this is definitely the one that gives me tons of compliments from my boyfriend, he really, really loves it. So I think if you're the bride, um, you're future husband will be very very happy when you wear this so yes a rose elixir a great one to go from day to night because it's strong enough that it's going to be a great party scent too ah just beautiful just beautiful it's flirty it is fun but still in a very sophisticated realm so yes gorgeous recommendation from montal now, I have one from Parfums de Marly and no, this is not Delina and I did not put any of Delina here intentionally and that is because um, I think that at this point most probably there will be someone at the venue that you're going to that might smell like Delina. We have to be honest here, right? And I think that all of you, my lovely munchkins, are like me and you want to smell unique wherever you go. And the one that I want to recommend you is slightly more tropical, but still absolutely perfect for the weddings. And that is Cassili. And I think it is these days way more unique than Delina because not only Delina is popular, but also we have so many flankers of it with Cassili. It's not as popular and it's still a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance to the point that probably I love it more than Delina, low key. I don't know, I don't know, it's hard, but I really, really love it. Um, this one is, um, what do we have here? Frangipani, Petalia, Plum, Mimosa, Plumeria, which is Frangipani. Ugh, stupid girl. Uh, sandalwood, Tonka and Vanilla. And this one, Sometimes I thought that it's not projecting much, but last weekend my mom sprayed herself with it all over and we went to lunch, like our Sunday luncheon, you know, and uh, I could smell her all day, like all day, because then we went out for some ice cream and some uh, food truck festival and we spent literally whole day outside and I could smell her all damn day. So absolutely fantastic when it comes to projection and longevity. Um, I know that it's very, you know, different for different people, but when it comes to me and my environment, which is Central Europe, it's lovely. It's just, just lovely. I think this one, is powdery enough that you can wear it to a very you know classy sophisticated venue but it's also tropical enough that you can wear it for a wedding at the beach it's just perfect it's best of both worlds i love cassili uh, it has such a plush and precious touch to it as i like to call such fragrances it's sandalwoody and vanillic in the dry down it has that beautiful plum mixed with mimosa and of course that frangipani will give you that tropical touch so yes cassidy great one and the longevity is definitely there so that's that uh, next i have uh, a fragrance that is just perfect for all of you who want something simple chic long-lasting and that is pure extreme from Mikalev 
beautiful brand, beautiful bottles. Uh, the price is less beautiful, but you know, like like they all are not very nice. <laughs> but Pure Extreme is gorgeous. If you enjoyed Chloe or the Parfum back in the day, like I used to, I still do. Uh, this one is the more sophisticated version of it. It is just gorgeous. That beautiful, very soft and very classy rose mixed with peony and some florals, musky, just gorgeous. I talked about it many, many times, so I'm sure that you've seen it on this channel and heard my reviews. So this one is absolutely gorgeous for the weddings. Um, again, whether you're a guest or the bride, uh, it's gonna be just perfect. If you don't wanna think too much of the fragrance you're gonna wear and you wanna be classy, make sure that it stays put all day, this is the one to go. Fantastic one, very airy and transparent. Whew, okay, what do we have next? Of course, a staple. This one is a staple. Um, again, if you don't know what to wear, wear this. This is Gentle Fluidity Gold from Kurjan. And this one has one of my favorite notes and fragrances, which, no, it's not vanilla, although it does have no vanilla, but it has juniper berries. And I love juniper berries. And fun thing about um, Gentle Fluidity Gold is that your future husband or your partner can wear Gentle Fluidity Silver and you're gonna complement each other so so well wearing these fragrances together. Uh, this one is very long lasting. This is a powdery vanilla, however it is very airy. It is beautifully projecting in the air. Um, it's soft, it's very feminine. Gorgeous, just gorgeous. This is a sweeter fragrance, so if you like sweet, you're gonna love it. Uh, also, if you're not a rose lover, you're gonna love it. I have options for everyone, so here it is. Beautiful, just beautiful. It is a masterpiece. Very creamy, lovely, lovely scent and very long lasting. And I think, you know, when you go for a brand like Kurjan, you just feel good for some reason, right? <laughs> so yes, Gentle Fluidity Gold is fantastic. And now on the opposite side of the spectrum, we have a heavy rose for all my rose lovers. This one is one of the most beautiful roses ever. I say it every time. And this is Jo Malone Rose and White Mask Absolute. This is a oud fra based fragrance, but you can already smell oud here. Um, it is definitely ambery and definitely musky, but not too oudy. Um, but the rose here, guys, the most beautiful rose that ever existed. I adore this. I just adore this. Um, very strong. And, you know, for a Jo Malone fragrance, this is, this whole line is definitely very, very strong. It lasts all day, all night. Uh, also, this is a gorgeous pairing uh, with a fragrance like uh, Pure Extreme for the day. And then you top Pure Extreme with Jo Malone for the evening when the party starts and you're good to go. So if you want something light for the day, you go with this and then you top it up with something like that and you're just perfect. But if you want to be a Middle Eastern princess all day, all night long, I think this one is just the one that you should get and that's it, that's it and you're good to go. I adore this. This is definitely the fragrance that I'll be debating um, when it comes to me wearing a fragrance for my own wedding day. That's how much I love it. So yes, gorgeous. Next we have beautiful vanillic fragrance and that is from Memo and it is called Lalibella. And to me, from that whole vibe of fragrances like Elangen Gold from Mikalev, Casimir Chopin, Lalibella is slightly similar, but it's absolutely the best out of them all. This to me smells divine. It's way more fruity. It is more uplifting. It's more fun. 
it's pretty much a beautiful floral vanilla it doesn't have rose i mean it does but you cannot really smell it all right but it has some coconut it has some orchid it has some incense and tobacco in the dry down so i'm very very into this one even though this is the type of dna that i don't usually go for i'm not the biggest fan of ylang-ying gold as i told you many times but lalibella is just incredible it lasts so well it's very strong it is just so feminine and gorgeous unique you're gonna get a lot of compliments and you don't have to worry about the performance because it's gonna stay put it is gonna be gorgeous for the wedding day the bottle is also as all memo fragrances bottles amazing so yes i think lalibella if you like florals but not too much of a rose and you do like vanilla maybe if you do like notes like tobacco and incense you're gonna be in love because it has it all in there and the coconut so come on like if there's coconut in a fragrance i will probably love it like 99.9 percent so yes lalibella is beautiful and the next one that i have here is siberian rose from fragrance dubois and this is definitely the bougiest looking fragrance that i have here and i must admit it's also the bougiest smelling you do have to like tuberose and some suede touches because it is here uh, but it's all blended to perfection guys blended to perfection it's very hard even for me to distinguish every single note uh, even though it's called siberian rose again you don't really get much rose here what you get is this beautiful slightly fruity tuberose with very sweet touches and some suede note but that suede note just gives this fragrance creaminess nothing harsh nothing obnoxious just very very beautiful i would not usually go for something that has leathery notes in there but guys this one was love love from the first sniff love from the first sniff truly mm. and this one is extremely long lasting and beautifully projecting so i highly recommend it i think since it's your special day it's so worth having um again another one that i'll be surely debating when it comes to my own special day one day <laughs> we'll see um but yes gorgeous gorgeous fragrance and gorgeous bottle again price is not too gorgeous but it's really worth it really worth it to me out of the whole fragrance de bois collection this is definitely the most wedding like fragrance super classy super sophisticated but very sweet and feminine so yes if you haven't checked it out already you really really have to siberian rose from fragrance de bois I have something that is less expensive, surely less expensive, but quite similar. And it is from BDK and that is my another favorite from BDK. And this is Tuberous Imperial. And this one, as I said, it's quite similar. It doesn't have that suede accord and it's slightly more green. That's how I would defer them. But it's still very much similar vibe, similar um scent that you get from it the profile is very similar just beautiful sweet gorgeously blended tuberose it is very projecting long lasting quite heavy but so worth having so worth wearing for your wedding you know so yes these two with bdk i still have a sample i will get the full bottle i will uh, but these are quite similar so it only depends on your budget which one you prefer uh, both last very well and both project very well so yeah yeah uh, next one what do we have here i actually have only two fragrances left now that i'm looking at it yes two fragrances left can you believe it all right uh I have something beautiful, clean, no rose, no nothing, just jasmine and woodiness and slight almondiness. And that is Jasmine's Marzipan from Lancome. And this again screams wedding to me. 
absolutely gorgeous this one is so pretty so beautifully done i'm not um usually a big fan of you know straight up florals but this one oh, so clean so sweet this is the cleanest sweetest jasmine i've ever encountered beautifully done really beautifully done uh, of course you have a very gorgeous and quite strong woody aspect to it but in general this is jasmine prominent um, so yes if you love jasmine if you like clean scents this is the one to go for sure again longevity projection 10 out of 10 so this is the one that i would go for if i were you and last but not least guys this is for all my cherry fruity boozy lovers but very appropriate for spring summertime especially the wedding season this is my new baby from boho boko and this is wet cherry liquor gorgeous unique cherry fragrance with a lot of booziness it has liquor to it um it has some vetiver it has strawberry which makes this fragrance even more fruity boozy as i said when i hold it it to me smells like summer wine like really summer wine of course not to the point that you're gonna smell like booze when you wear it it's very sophisticated and super wearable um, but it's just so unique so unique and gorgeous and look at the juice it's so fantastic very nice longevity and projection as all boho bocos um, they really do their job very nicely when it comes to that um, and yeah i really really recommend Recommend it. They have other options um, that you should definitely look into, but if you like fruity and slightly boozy, this, this, trust me. And that is it, my darlings. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, I think I have nothing to say other than I wish you all well if you are getting married this year or attending the wedding. Have lots of fun. And don't forget to buy gifts to the married couple. And I love you and see you in my next one. Bye.